down here in the middle enclosure is Icaros. He's our Roswell ladder tail, and he was the first boa I got for the family. He's pretty chill and laid back. He's probably the first boa I've had to where we can just casually let him like dupe around on us. Like a shoulder buddy. I remember the first time I had him out on my shoulders. We were watching, oh, I think it was Jesus of Nazareth on YouTube. Yeah, a snake will sit down and freaking watch a fucking YouTube movie. And down here at the bottom is our big girl, Athena. Our possible jungle hat super stripe. Oh, and just for a notice, most of my boas are actually rehomes. Because people either had to move along somewhere where they couldn't take them or they just didn't have the time to deal with them. So, mostly found them on Craigslist. This lady was made by uh, somebody around here in the Chesapeake Bay area that's doing boas. And even though he uh, has dealt with like making super stripes, uh, she he had no idea as far as like planning any future projects with her. Because, well, super stripe is a new genetic out there, and it's, it's particularly for boas, it's so new that probably a little bit harder to produce, but especially the fact that female boas need to gain size and age to uh, effectively breed without endangering their lives. But she's a very tame girl. Okay, up here by the Super 70s. This is Phobos. He is our first ball python. First snake of many. And he helped us get over our initial fears. Because I grew up in a Marine Corps base where... Let's put it this way. Every kid thought they were the next Steve Irwin and they would mess with every snake. Including the most dangerous ones like copperheads and water moccasins. And that kind of set the standard of me having a very bad fear of snakes. But, hence the name Phobos, meaning Greek word for fear. Phobos definitely helped us get over that hurdle. Especially during the pandemic, when we first started actually getting into the snakes. And this guy here is Biju. He is our black exanthic hypo. He was, for the first part of his life with us, a unrepentant mouser. And it took him almost a full year and a half before he would ditch mice and finally go for rats. So, if you ever see the video of him eating a rat, that, that's already been posted to the channel. It's an older video, but that was a success seeing that happen. And back you go, buddy. Yep, get your head down. Get your head down. Up next is Manoa, our female albino. This is my daughter's favorite snake. And clearly she's gone through an ovulation cycle. We've paired her up with Coco Pelli. So we're going to end up possibly getting double het albino het, het hypos. She is a voracious eater. I don't think I've ever seen her refuse food except for once. And that was about a couple weeks ago where she killed the rat but did not eat him. I don't know if that is a clear sign of that she's ovulating or starting to build up eggs, but for the most part, she has been pounding down food. And judging by all this disrupting of the substrate, she's either doing her burrowing phase or she's getting ready. But then again, she hasn't given us a prelay shed yet. Mm -hmm. 
written down here is Psyche or Mojave, possible chocolate, het orange ghost female. She's pretty chill, very laid back, no problems with eating. She is my wife's personal snake. It's her favorite little Duke noodle. And down below on the last tub here is Phantasma, our female phantom and our oldest ball python that we own. We got her from a collection sale at a local pet shop where a guy had bought a whole bunch of snakes. And then halfway through owning them, decides to sell them back so he can get into cats, particularly servals. I think that's a waste of money. Freaking trading in a whole bunch of animals for going into another breed of animals. But at the cost of being reduced, she was a bit of a steal. Well, that's all the snakes as of now. And hmm, as of right now, I don't think I can get any more because my wife would literally chew me out. But this is my s'mores. And this is our happy little noodle family. Tub, enclosure to tub.